Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.86. Okay, and it says two smooth billiard balls A and B each have a mass of 200 grams. If A strikes B with a velocity VA1 equals to 1.5 meters per second, as shown, determine their final velocity just after the collision. Ball B is originally at rest and the coefficient of restitution is E equal to 0 0.85. Neglect the size of each ball. All right. So we're giving in here is this graph. We have ball B, ball A. Ball A is the only one that has an initial velocity of 1.5 meters per second at an angle 40 degrees with respect to the x-axis, okay? They're also showing us how these two guys are going to hit each other, okay? So the first thing I like to do in this problem is like always, guys, let's just write out my givens. So the first thing they're telling me is that the mass of A and the mass of B is equal to 200 grams, okay? I'm going to convert this into kilograms, so it will give me a total of 0 0.2 kilograms. I'm also given that the velocity of A before the collision is 1.5 meters per second, and its angle, it's basically, um, in this direction with respect to the x-axis well well it's 40 degrees let me just put 40 degrees respect to the x-axis now um, I'm giving the coefficient of restitution which is equal to 0 0.85 and I'm also giving that B starts at rest okay so I'm gonna give it a 1 just for the initial condition so we're in chapter 14 and we're going to utilize these two following equations, which are basically the conservation of linear momentum and also the equation for the coefficient of restitution, okay? So we're going to break down this problem into two. We're breaking up the problem with respect to the um, velocities in the x direction and then second, the velocity is respect in the y direction for both initial and then afterwards, okay? So let's just start doing that. We're going to start with the conservation of momentum in the x direction. We're going to go ahead and assume that going to the right is positive. So what do we have? Well. We need to do the summatory of the masses times the Earth's velocities, okay? So we're going to have that the mass of A, which is 0 0.2 kilograms, times its velocity. Well, its velocity in the x direction is negative 1.5 times the cosine of 40 degrees. Okay, so just to let you guys know, basically this velocity in this direction can be decomposed into its x component and also its y component, right? So we're talking about this x component. The second mass that we have in the initial condition is mass b, but mass b doesn't have any velocities, therefore we're gonna have plus zero. Then we have that this has to be equal to the mass of a times its final velocity, or its velocity after the collision in the x direction, plus the mass of b times the velocity after the collision in the x direction okay so this is my first equation and what i would like to do with this first equation is just let's start simplifying this into our ninth equation i'm going to cancel out all the point two in my equation since all my terms have it and after that well i can say that the velocity of a in the x direction plus the velocity of b in the x direction has to be equal to this negative 1.5 times the cosine of 40 and if I plug this into my calculator this will give me a total of negative 1.149 okay so this will be my first equation so I'm gonna write it as 1 and we will utilize the coefficient of restitution as my second equation in order to solve for this velocity. So we're going to go and gonna utilize the coefficient of restitution. And what do we have? Well, we know that the coefficient of restitution given by the problem is 0 
Okay, this was given by the problem statement. And this has to be equal to, so just making sure I'm following this equation. We got that the velocity of B in, after the collision in the x direction minus, I'm sorry, the velocity of A after the collision in the x direction all divided by the velocity of A initially, well, it's negative 1.5 cosine of 40 degrees minus the initial velocity of b which is zero okay so if i try to simplify this equation a little bit we'll have that i'm going to leave this just the way it is all i'm going to do is move this one towards kind of like being the first term so we have a negative okay so we got negative the velocity of a after the collision plus the velocity of b after the collision has to be equal to the multiplication of this number times this number. This zero doesn't count because, well, it's just a zero, it counts, but any number minus zero is the same number. And if we multiply those two numbers, we should get negative 0 0.9767, okay? And this should be my second equation. So you guys may question yourselves, why does he like utilizing, like simplifying the equations like this? And the reason for that is because I like utilizing matrices to solving my problems. And that way I can just plug that into all my calculator and solve for it. After you solve for this, basically you have one equation, two equations and two unknowns. So unknown one, unknown two. This is the same unknown one and unknown two, okay? So whenever you solve for it, any method you guys like, you will find out that the velocity of A after the collision in the x direction is equal to negative 0 0.086 meters per second. And the velocity of B in the x direction after the collision is equal to negative 1.06 to nine meters per second okay so we found out the first two velocities in the x direction all we have to do is the same thing but in the y direction in order to solve completely for the velocities of these uh, billiard balls okay so i'm gonna copy this problem so we can have a better visualization while we're doing our y direction i'm gonna put it in there and we're going to do the same process just that in this case, we're gonna do the y direction. So we're gonna do conservation of momentum in the y direction. So we're following pretty much the same step. We're gonna assume that going up, oops, going up is positive. And what do we have? Well, mass B initially, of course, is a still, um, Arrest in the initial, therefore we don't account for that one. However, my ball A has a negative direction, so negative, uh, well, first the mass, 0 0.2 times its negative 1.5 multiplied by the sine of 40 degrees, okay? And this has to be equal to the mass of A times its velocity in the y direction after the collision, plus the mass of B times the velocity of the velocity of, uh, of B after the collision in the y direction. Now, there's one thing I would like you guys to notice is that the way that ball A hits ball B makes contact normally with respect to this surface. Therefore, the contact will create a force that will push my ball be in this direction, meaning that the velocity of being the y direction is actually zero, meaning that we don't have to take into account. After realizing this, we can say, okay, we can cancel 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 out of all my equation, since all the terms have it. And finally, we can solve for the velocity of a in the y direction after the collision and this should be equal to this negative 1.5 sine of 40. 
and if we put that into our calculator this is equal to negative 0 0.9642 uh, meters per second okay so we're almost there all we have to do is find that the magnitudes of this velocity so let's go ahead and start with velocity of a after the collision has to be equal to the square root of so we're doing the magnitude we're going to have the velocity in the x-direction after the collision negative 0 0.0862 square plus the velocity of a after the collision in the y-direction negative 0 0.9642 a square and when we plug this into our calculator we'll get a total of 0 0.968 and this is in meters per second now this is its magnitude and if we have a magnitude we should have a direction so I'm going to call this theta sub a after the collision and this should be equal to the inverse tangent of the y direction 9642 divided by its x direction and if we plug this into our calculator we get a total angle of 84 point 89 degrees now I want you guys to pay attention that for this velocity and this angle well we have that the x direction is negative meaning going in that way and the y direction is negative okay so this angle is relative to the x-axis but the negative x-axis okay so let me better draw it after the collision my ball a looks like this with an angle of 84.9 degrees we can also account for the other side we can also say that this one will be equal to 5.11 degrees the remaining of the 90 degrees okay so but I'm gonna leave it with the 84.9 finally we're going to do the magnitude of my velocity of B after the collision and for this one it's a little bit easier since we know that the velocity of B in the y direction is zero all we have is its x component which is equal to 1.06 um, we're gonna leave it into two decimal places meters per second and its direction is totally horizontal towards the left okay so this will be my answer for my billiard ball b and these two guys will be my answers for my billiard ball a so i hope you guys like the video Please push the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.